Much to my homeschoolers' dismay, we are not doing a four-day weekend. We did a two-day weekend. <laughs> they don't understand. Why is Carrie got to stay out of school? Oh, Carrie doesn't get to do as many fun things as we get to do all week. We're going to play street hockey again. Yeah, we are going to play street hockey again. Oh, uh, we didn't film yesterday. We did. We did. I filmed it. Yep. So, I also was up all night long with a croupy child. My frogger boy yesterday. Rowdy. Rowdy. Oh my goodness. He's... It was bad. We were outside like two or three times. We bought, finally bought a humidifier, right? But I don't think it really worked. Rowdy and I went outside a couple times last night because the cool air works so much better than the hot steam. We went outside and it was quick and it was like 15 minutes outside and we sat there and we looked at the stars. It was a beautiful night and um, up all night, honestly. Look, see this? All night long. I could seriously fall asleep standing up. And they say that the second night of croup is even harder. Yay! I can't wait! I want to do two shout outs really quick. They're both thank you shout outs. One is to Billy CTV. He featured Kellogg Show on his Watchworthy YouTube video series. It's number 31 if you want to go check it out. Where the last video um, he is amazing. I, really, you'll love Billy CTV. You gotta go check him out. He's got a Seinfeld view of the world. He can take the smallest, littlest thing that we all see every day and take for granted. He can take it and he can parse it and then he can throw it back at us and we're like, whoa, yeah, I've heard about all that, but I've never thought about it. So go check out some of his videos, subscribe to him, thumbs up all of them, and um, Tell them we sent you. It's kind of like reverse paying it. We're paying it backwards. Paying it in reverse, kind of. And then the other, so it's Billy, I'm sorry, it's Billy C, the letter C, TV. Go check him. The other one is um, Dwidget Brotherhood Army. I am shocked by these guys, really. It's Rich W4 and all of his fan club. I got probably 50 visits to my channel yesterday just telling us how awesome we were and keep up the good work and we support you. I love doing pay it forward type things. It's amazing when unbelievable things happen to you. We were at a Red Lobster once and um, we sat down and I guess we had like nine kids at the time and we sat down and we were eating. I wasn't eating because I hate fish. I was chowing on those cheese rolls. Oh my gosh, those things are good. But um, this man came out of the blue out of nowhere, put his hand on Dan's shoulder, and said we had a beautiful family. And we said, Dan said, oh, thank you very much. And they started chatting a little bit, and the man said, he took Dan's hand and he put something in there, and you could tell it was money. And he's like, um, Jesus sent me, and um, he told me to give this to you. Dan was like, wow, thank you very much, but I can't accept this. And the guy turned around to Dan and he goes, you're going to deny Jesus? Well, what do you say? Really, what do you say? No, we're not going to deny Jesus. Hugged him, you know, said thank you very much. And he left the restaurant. At the end of that, Dan looked at the bill that was in his hand. It was $100. Paid for our dinner, our whole dinner. Amazing. Just... And it doesn't even have to be monetary. Like Billy CTV and Rich W4, they show you it doesn't have to be monetary. It can just be kind words. And that can just make somebody's heart sore. But we took the $100 and we paid our for our dinner. But then we paid it forward. We looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And then one day there was this homeless man on our streets and you could... You saw, I saw him walking out of our grocery store, was visibly and audibly very angry because he'd been kicked out of the grocery store. We have quite a few transients here. They are homeless, they're down and out on their luck. And so he was very angry leaving there. And Dan came out of the grocery store and I was waiting in the car and I had locked the doors. I was just like, Ew. But then something came over me and I was like, oh. This is our opportunity. So we found him walking down the street, we picked him up, and we brought him to a hotel, and 
We paid for his breakfast the next morning and gave it to the hotel guy just in case it wasn't going to be used for alcohol. And um, paid for his hotel that night. So, to make a really, really short story longer, go check out Billy CTV, sub him, and go check out Rich W4 and all of his DBA members and sub them and him. Tell him we sent you, just for the heck of it. We're going up to play street hockey, and I'm bringing the sickly icklies up to the cul-de-sac to sit in chairs with blankets in the warm, warm, bright sun, and hopefully just like melt this. You are going to come out? Yeah, melt the sickness away, right? What? Can I see what you're reading? Let me see the front. Ooh, the Lion King. Rowdy, stay there. We'll bring you drinks. Good luck keeping this crew down. Rowdy, you're feeling that much better? What Advil will do for you. What? Say, I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. Alright, we know exactly where our money that was going towards the car is going to go. Smile. Huh. You still got tooth in there? Another piece. Is it one or both? It's both. Did it's, I lose a piece? Your right is completely in half. And, and then the your left has got a chip like right down here at the bottom. Smile again. Ow. Beautiful. You're going to have to start vlogging all the time now with that mouth. You can sit so like dish. look like a total redneck? Yeah. Look like a total redneck now? Does it hurt? <laughs> of course not! It's Do you want to keep playing? <laughs> I think I should get a mouth guard. He's looking for the rest of his tooth. <laughs> I was handcuffed and Rowdy was I don't mean to laugh, but... Dan, they're not going to be able to put it back together. It's Dan. a very, very, very bright, Dan. bright white piece of tooth. <laughs> Dan, let's... <laughs> It looks it like fresh easy. fallen it's, snow. Yeah, it should look just like in that commercial. It should sparkle. Hey, Dan. Just look for you don't need your tooth. Pay attention, please. They're not going to put together your tooth. For real? For real? Bucky the vampire slayer. <laughs> okay. It's true. This sucks. Come on, Dan. Don't be a baby. <laughs> Let's go. That was that thing. That, that orange ball just hit me right in the front teeth. The Bust ball. Dally did it. No. Dally's, Dally's buckshot, what is it called? Slap shots are so buckshot. Your slap shots are so hard, you took out Daddy's tooth. Yeah. We're not supposed to be like killing. Like that. I no He's going to be out here for three days no, looking for his tooth. The game must go on, though. Dentist at 4.30. Yeah.